Okay, so this is what will happen at the airport. The raggedy ass airport. Yeah, raggedy ass airport. So, well, we got to the airport. And we we got there on time, you know. Finally, at a decent time. Yeah, at a decent time, you know, because when you traveling with luggage, you gotta, you know, be at the airport. I would say like two hours before your, you know, your flight departure. But what happened was, we get to the airport, then we check in our bags. Well, wait, <laughs> we didn't even tell them that we missed our first flight. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> so we actually missed our first flight. Yes. Yeah, and then experience. we had to pay was it eight something to rebook for the same day at a later time. Mm hmm So we did that and we still missed that flight too. I know. Yeah, so we missed not one but two flights yesterday. But it was a little agitating because the second flight, we actually got there earlier, but all types of nonsense was going on. So, this is what happened. Damn, so what happened exactly? So, so first yeah. when we got to the airport, mm -hmm. um, the line was really long, but it was moving. Couldn't lie, it was moving. But when we pulled up to the ticket agent... She's like, oh, okay, P put your luggage down. We put the luggage down, and then she prints the ticket for my luggage. Then for his, she prints it and says, oh, did it print out? Did I lose it? I don't have it. So the lady spent about 15 minutes trying to find the damn ticket yeah. for the luggage. And then right. she said, oh, I have to go downstairs. I have to go all the way downstairs to go get it. So then that was an additional five minutes. So about 20, okay. longer than that? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a little longer than that. So let's but, say 15 to 25 minutes waiting for the lady who couldn't print the ticket. Right. Then getting past TSA. Yeah, because this is with our, our check, the check in our luggage. And then when we got to TSA, it was a whole other story. Because clearly one of the, um, the, the TSA agents, she wasn't doing her job. Well, that as well. And the line was horribly long. And the wait was long. The workers were moving slow. So when we finally got past the um, boarding agent, giving them a, giving them our, our IDs and our tickets or whatever, yeah, we're waiting passes. online. Yeah, sorry, boarding passes. We're waiting online to go through the scanners. There's one worker who had to be relieved, and I guess she was late. So for about 20 minutes, yeah. sorry, I'm using the word, sis didn't do no work. Yeah, because... <laughs> I knew something was up when, as we got closer and the line um, moved little by little, and all I seen was her just staring into space with looking no care in the world. Looking at stars, looking at her nails, looking around, yeah. and there's like at least 15 to 20 suitcases, bags that they needed to check. Right. And mind you, it was about, what time was it, what did you say? Oh, well, our flight was... A flight was for 7.25 p.m. And, you know, when we... I would say this took about an additional hour and a half. Disgusting. Yeah, this in total it took about an hour and a half. Uh, with the TSA agents specifically speaking, because, again, like she said, no one wanted to do their job. Everyone was half-assing everything. Um, the lady who clearly, I guess she was relieved late, so she... Um, Deliberately she, didn't do any work. Yeah. Just because. Because she put, she put her luggage to the side that needed to be checked. But we travelers, so we know the requirements and the guidelines on carrying liquids inside small bottles yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, because you don't have to put them in a three, the three-ounce bottles. I always do that every time we travel so there's no issues, so nobody has to pull over our bags. She's not properly doing her job, so then the bag gets put over for a TSA agent to actually open it and go through it. And mind you, that was already 10, it was 10 buckets ahead of mine. Yeah. And we had to get on a shuttle bus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> don't forget, because, don't forget, because um, they announced that, hey, we have large electronics separated from your, your, your carry-on, right? This guy who was going, who was just before her, her bags to get checked. This man had all types of camera equipment inside his bag, which delayed everything. So he prolonged 
our process on getting to our flight. Because he wanted to have three, four, five cameras in the bag. Yeah. When they tell you from the jump, take the cameras, the like large electronics, laptops out of the bag. Yeah. This is why it's always good to follow directions and pay attention. Because a lot of people don't pay attention. Right. So, just before, you know, the shuttle bus and stuff like that, um, uh, what happened? So, when her bag got checked, all the lady did was unzip the bag, look through it, and then... And said, oh, you're fine. And said, oh, yeah, said, oh, you're fine. So, within... So, all that weight and hassle and... 30 just, minutes. 30 minute wait for my bag to be checked. And that time, we could have been flying to go get to the gate. Yeah. And then, mind you, the gates start from 19, I believe. Like, B, was like, it B or C? It was about, like, yeah, around there, yeah. So, it's like, B19, and ours is all the way at 40, 42. 42. Yeah, 42. So, imagine that long walk. Yeah, we were at least walking, I would say, about two miles. Probably three. Yeah, just trying to get to the gate. And then, by the time we got there... Gate was closed. Plane departed. Yeah. Sayonara. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, we got lucky. We were able to get a you know uh, next flight for today. That's why we're here now. You know, thank thank God we're here now. Yes. Uh, because of so like it was so much going on yesterday that it was ridiculous. So yeah, that was our experience yesterday. On why we didn't arrive to New Orleans yesterday. But we managed to make it today. Yep. And I will say shout outs to Delta. Because after we missed our flight, we spoke to some representatives over the phone. And everything was very quick and swift. We did, excuse me, we did have to pay a fee of like $55 per person. But that's better than paying a cancellation and yeah, you get a no-show fee. And you're paying $1,000. So just 55 each. Rebooked for the next day. It was smooth. Our flight was for 8 so, you know, we got up at like, well, I got up at 3.30, 4 o'clock to get ready, in the morning to get ready. Yeah, because our flight was for 8.05 a.m. I just said that. Oh, it was? My bad. My apologies. Okay. Uh, I zoned He's out. still sleeping. Yeah, let's blame it on that. Yeah, really. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's our experience on why we did not show up to New Orleans yesterday. A day early. But instead today. Yeah. yeah. So we'll have more videos coming soon. Right. And tune in to our day by day vlog while we're here in New Orleans. It's gonna be a good experience. I just know that for a fact off the strength of we had a good time last year. And the food. We're yeah. foodies, so we yeah. have some good food. Everyone that knows me know that I, I literally I, I it's like a two meal minimum. I, eat, I get two meals. Mm, eat a lot of food. Like yeah. a garbage disposal. But until next time, fam. What it do, baby?